What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. And yes, it is, uh, well, we're in Golden Rod City, and now we're going to be going straight up north because we need to train our Pokemon just a little bit. We're not really ready to go up against what you might call it, uh, yeah, Whitney. Yeah, she's always been the toughie. She's always been the one that we've complained about, and I'm going to be ready for her. Ready and able and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he will actually give you a Spiro to actually mail to one of his friends, but I'm not going to be getting that Spiro right now because we kind of need that extra slot for somebody else uh, further along the road. Now, if you talk to this person right here, do you want to know how the radio or how to listen to the radio? No, because I already know how. Yes, you're being a backseat driver and all that stuff. So here we are in Route 35 right here, and we're going to start battling, beating everybody, and getting our name thrown out there, you know, saying that, yes, Draven is the awesomest one in the world. Are you going to the Pokemon gym? Me too. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. So here we go, Big Nicker Cam wants the battle. She's coming out with her Vulpix right here, level 15. Let's start biting everybody. Yeah, buddy. Okay, biting. Bite, 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 bite. And run baskets. Here we go with the Will-O-Wisp. And yes, we're going to be hurt by it. God dang it. Come on. Let's go, Toxic Batman. Oh, damn. There's that roar attack, and it doesn't do much good for Vulpix because we got this guy right here. Cinder, kick and bunt, quick attack. Does its thing. And, well, Kim has nothing else. Okay. So, Lexi, who is next? On the list right here. He's probably a Poke fan, and... Man, poor Toxic Batman is, like, burnt right now, and he's not getting a break. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hello! Just when you thought least expected, I am Cameron the Photographer. You look like you look so photogenic. Why not have a picture taken? Sure. Let's go ahead and take a picture right now. We're gonna be taking pictures all over the place and well looking at our team. Looking boss. Looking like a big boss team. Good good, we've got a nice picture. You can uh, see all of my pictures on your PC. That is true, very, very true. And well, let's see, we got these people right here. Or this one person. And this guy's gonna be like, I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go. Sandshrew coming out, and Dox and Batman is not looking so hot right now, so we're gonna be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go with Lucky. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Yeah, we're getting accuracy and all that stuff. So here we go. Rabbit spin on us. Water gun on him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nearly got... Yeah, they got beat right there. Come on, Lucky. And I think we're I think we are close to evolving Lucky. It just needs four more levels. Just four more levels. But I think we can reach it. And look at that. Toxic Batman grows a little 16. And well, we're gonna be going up against a Meryl right here, so let's go with Flavolt. Mm-hmm. Flavolt, how you doing right there? Against a Meryl, and we're gonna be going straight to a Thundershock. Yeah, okay, nearly gets taken care of right there. Okay, so here we go, Thundershock again. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, so that takes care of that. So that's not so hard. No, well, not so bad right now. And, well, here we go with another Pokemon trainer. And she's like, my boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Wow. So why are you even with him? I mean, that's the question right there. That is a big question, so yeah, look at that. Coming out with a Pikachu, I am not going to deal with that, so let's go back to Lucky. And, well, the Growl attack takes its form right there. So, let's go, Thundershock, before he comes in with a quick attack right there, look at that. Much shots doing much more better, and, uh, oh crud, slowing our attacks and our everything. Why would you do that? Seriously. Much shot nearly takes him away, and... Let's go, one more, and god dang it, Pikachu's like to use that attack. But here we go, Mudshot for the win. Oh yes. And it nearly grows to level 15, which is always good too. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think I should be switching out our Pokemon since it already grew, grew to level, uh, whatchamacallit, 16. So let's go with Hercules right here, if you guys didn't remember. I actually did capture Hercules a few episodes ago, and, well, let's see. I've been getting Pokemon dead off my radio. I think I'm good. Alrighty, let's go. 
Ivan versus or Ivan and Diglett. And well, let's see. I don't I don't think I got the moves that can beat this guy. So let's go with Lucky. Okay. And here comes that scratch attack. So let's go with the water gun attack and crud. This guy's not giving me any any chance right now because Diglett is one of the fastest Pokemon right there. So here we go, get another scratch attack and water gun does it. Oh yes. And Lucky grows to level 15, and it's learning Slam, a new good move. And, well, I'm going to take away Mudsport for right now. doesn't really have anything. And, well, coming out with the Zubat, let's move on to Fluff Bolt right here. Okay. Alrighty, let's do this Fluff Bolt. Use the Thundershock and win. Oh yes, oh yes. So as many of you guys already know, um... Yeah, I am returning back to work. No, this pandemic is not over. Believe it or not, we have opened up, but it's not over. And well, I'm only I'm only hoping that everything goes well from here on in because god dang it, 3 months. Was it 3 months? I want to say it was 3 months. 3 months in a in a in a house. Oh crud. Oh, that's Yeah, I thought I was going to fit right there. But yeah, 3 months in a in a in a house. Not doing anything, not being essential, like they like to call it. it, it just sucks. It really does. And especially for high schoolers, not getting a real graduation and all that stuff. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I think I've already gotten a comment down below that about one of you guys' high school graduations. And I really do feel sorry for you. I mean, you guys deserve a little bit better right there. But nonetheless, we are actually, I think, hopefully returning back to normal. It's just I wish the non-essential people would have learned how to drive better. And here we go. Behold this my dexterity and grace. What dexterity and grace? I don't even know what that means. So here we go. Juggler of Irwin wants the battle coming with his Voltorb. And, well, let's go with the mud shot right here. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Come on. And uh, there goes that Voltorb. 40 extreme, 43 experience points, so I'm going to go straight to Hercules because it needs more experience points and it needs to grow more levels. It is a very difficult Pokemon to actually use, and well, here we go with a uh, horn attack. And well, a charge attack is not really going to do much since uh, I believe Voltorb doesn't know anything yet. Except for that, and look at that. Ah, oh, crud. So we're perilous size. Yeah, we're per paralyzed and well let's continue on right here each Pokemon gets better but we do have a good move right here rock tomb and uh, spark attack didn't know you had that and its speed has fallen but yeah not going to last very very long so let's go ahead and switch out and here we go with the charge attack and okay so your special defense is gonna be there but here we go Oh, crud. <laughs> okay, screw me, huh? Here we go, Cinder. Alright, let's go. Cinder, quick attack. God dang it! Ah, Jesus. All my Pokemon. They're getting hurt right now. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Flame Wheel, come on. God damn it, with, this autom with the automatic 20 points. And look at that. Voltorb has been defeated. Hercules grows to level tw 10. And, well, I'm just gonna continue on right here since we're already at this point. And let's go with the Flame Wheel. But, of course, Voltorb is going to be a little bit faster than us. So here we go. Voltorb, get this Flame Wheel. Buh bye Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Okay. And, well, let's see. You're the best I've ever battled. Hey, <laughs> you saved all your Slowpoke. Well, no wonder I could've beat you. Could I get your number? No. No, okay, I do not want your phone number right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see if we got any healing items. And yeah, we only have one. And Personberry, I think. No, that's uh, Confusion. And Rindo Berry. So this Rindo Berry right here, if held by a Pokemon, it weakens its foe's super effective grass type attack. Okay. Okay, alrighty. Um, yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little screwed right now. Yeah, screw it as can be. Uh, yeah, screw it. Gonna be battling this guy right now. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. 
Okay, alrighty. So we're gonna be going against a fire breather, and he does have a fire type Pokemon. God dang. And uh, well, let's go with Fluff Bolt. We're gonna, we're gonna be taking our chances right now. And there's that smog attack that fails. So here we go. God dang it. All right, Thunder Shock, paralyze him. Come on. Now, Molten, or Magmar are just a uh, strong Pokemon right here. Another Pokemon that I could have. You can easily get in the, like, over in, uh, whatchamacallit, Mahogany Town and stuff. And there's that Smug. Here we go. Thundershock defeats that Magmar. And uh, that's extra points for both our Pokemon. And here he comes out with another one. So, let's continue on right now. Let's do this. Thundershock. Okay, so we gotta do this again. Thundershock does it, and yes, we finally paralyzed somebody. The shoe is on the other foot now, and uh, well, here comes that faint attack. That's one of the, well, that's actually one of my favorite moves that Magmar has. It can actually use a, actually use a faint attack right there. Doesn't miss, and look at that. Fluff Volt grows to level 19, and bam. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, no, I do not want your number as well, so we're just going to go in here because, of course, uh, this is the bug cut, uh, can't cheat contest and everything. But what I got to do first is I actually got to heal my Pokemon. And if you do deposit your Pokemon into the PC, they automatically get healed. So that's exactly what's going to happen right here. Pokemon are getting healed. And, well, we're going to be withdrawing Pokemon. Let's go, right here, there we go, and there we go again, and who else do we need to deposit? Uh, okay, here we go, this guy, and, oh actually, hold on, I gotta, I gotta deposit him again, okay, there we go, and, well, let's go right ahead and get this, and grab this guy right here. Actually, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that is how we do it. And, well, now, let's continue on our adventure right here. We still got a few trainers to actually battle, and that guy is a Pokemon trainer that I do not want to actually, uh... That's, yeah, that's a guy that I do not want to mess with with a hair across right now. So, let's go right ahead and take this guy on, and as you can see, danger looks in the night. You will, only be, you will only be able to battle this guy at nighttime. And, well, he's coming out with a Growlithe. Not a Pokemon that I want to use or to take on. Here we go. Let's go with the Water Gun. And, oh crud, okay, so it's still not going down. But luckily for us, Lucky is a lucky Pokemon. And, well, here we go one more time. Water Gun attack. Does it. For the win! Yes, sir. Okay, and he's coming. Oh, wow, he has two Growlithe. Okay, alrighty, I got you, I got you. Here we go. And an Ember attack does not do well, but here we go with again. Water Gun attack. Try it again, and god dang it, stop burning me. Here we go. And one more Water Gun. Will it do it? Can it do it? For the win! And it nearly grows to level 16, which is good. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon now. And, well, let's go with Hercules again. And, well, we're going to be attacked by some Pokemon right here. So we cannot... Yeah, we're not going to get attacked by any Pokemon. I really don't feel like getting attacked by Pokemon. And Yeah, yeah, screw me. Screw me. Don't really have a... <laughs> don't really have any items. So... Rule number one, guys, never, ever, ever, ever come unprepared like Draven has in this episode right here. So that's a big, big lesson that you should learn. And here we have a bug catcher ready to attack us. And, well, let's go ahead and just beat the crap out of him. Let's go. Bug catcher coming out with his Venonat. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon now that it's been exposed. And there we go. Alrighty, Flame Wheel. There we go. Flame Wheel does it. And look at that. Hercules grows to level 11. 
And <laughs> All right, trade phone numbers. I will not trade phone numbers. Really don't, okay? I just found out that we... Yeah, I just found out that they... they yeah, they, it's not unlimited phone numbers right here, guys, so... <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be uh, an option right here. You only need to get the people that can actually help you, not the people that will just call you every so often and, and whatnot. And, well, here we found ourselves the paralysis heal. Alrighty, so let's go. And, well, let's see what else we can actually find right here. I think they extended this just a little bit for us. As you can see, you can actually uh, get out of a... Uh, or you can jump off the ledge anytime you want. And as we're strolling by right here, you can actually find some pretty interesting Pokemon. Nidoran male and female are come to mind. And this guy right here. Okay. Let's see. Let's go with Fluffolt. And battle this guy. What kinds of Pokeballs do you use? Real easy, guys. All of them. Okay, so here we go. Bird Keeper Brian wants the battle. And we're going to be going straight with the Thundershock right here. Look at that. Thundershock does that thing. And, well, he's coming out with a Pidgeotto. So we're just going to stay put right here. And try it again with another Thundershock. Okay, alrighty. And, well, look at that experience points right there. I think he... Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this one right now. And, well, let's see. What else can you find right here except this one right here? We found ourselves a TM66 Payback. Very good move for any kind of dark type Pokemon right there. And, well, let us get out of here by just jumping off this ledge. And I think this ends our adventure right here on whatever route we're in. I think I'm kind of hoping that we can actually do a bug catching contest. So let's see. Today is Tuesday. That means bug. Yes. Okay. So we're just gonna say no right now. And well, we're gonna be doing a bug catching contest in the next episode. So hopefully we, you know, we we do good in the bug catching contest. I don't even know, guys. Hopefully we win it. Win ourselves a sunstone. I don't know. Whatever it takes, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.